We're live. Okay, live is up. The sergeants begin their recordings. PC starters. Okay, Backup Klaus is rolling. Thank you. Sergeant Kowalski, you may begin with the opening. Good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing on the Committee on Education. At this time, would council staff please turn on their video. Please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent. Thank you, Chair. We are ready to begin. Uh, thank you all very much. Um, today, the committee uh, will be voting on introduction uh, 1675B, sponsored by Council Member Rose. Uh, just want to note uh, we've been joined by Council Member Rose, Council Member Anthony Samuel, Council Member Drum, Council Member Borelli, Council Member Redentric. Councilmember Lewis, Councilmember Cornegy, Councilmember Rodriguez, Councilmember Lander, Councilmember Riley, Councilmember Barron, Councilmember Levine, and uh, forgive me if we missed anyone. Uh, proposed interest 1675B would amend existing law that requires DOE to publish information on the summer meals program by June 1st. Proposed intro would uh, require DOE to provide the summer meals report to all students along with three locations nearest to each student's school of attendance where meals will be available. I appreciate Councilor Rose's leadership on this. Um, Councilor Rose, if you'd like to say uh, any words before, before we vote on, the, uh, on your bill. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, my colleagues today, I am really thrilled to be voting on this bill, Intro 1675 which would allow more families to know that there is a secure place nearby that they can send their children to receive free meals during the summer months. This bill will require that the Department of Education mail summer meal information to every eligible student. This information would include the three nearest locations, operating hours and eligibility guidelines. Summer meals are offered to all children ages 18 and under at no cost at several sites across our city, including public schools, community pool centers, public parks, libraries, and NYCHA locations from June through August. Low-income parents often rely on New York City school food for free meals for their children throughout the school year. And this need doesn't simply disappear during the summer months. So as the summer, as the number of summer meal sites continues to increase, families should be properly notified about the free meal options that are available to them. So I'd like to encourage all of you to vote um, yes in favor of this, especially in fact that um, in light of the, that we're turning the corner on this pandemic and that it has threatened you know, food security for thousands of New Yorkers. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Rhodes. Um, I, I certainly thank you for your leadership. Uh, this is certainly a very timely bill, and I'll always appreciate you uh, centering our, our children and our families who need this information and help the most. Um, absolutely, um, and I, I'm in full support of the bill. And I guess with that, we'll uh, have uh, the clerk uh, call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on education, proposed introduction 1675B, Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Thank you. Drum. Aye. Lander. Aye. Rose. Aye. Barron. I vote aye, congratulations. And if I'm not already listed, please add me to the bill. Thank you. Absolutely. Cornegie. Um, per permission to explain? Uh, permission permission to explain. Yes. Um, I just wanna say congratulations to both the chairs and to Debbie Rose, um, this pandemic has yielded a, a brand of resilience, especially in the education committee. I don't think I've seen any committee fight as hard on behalf of the students and wow. families and anything. And I just wanna say thank you, man. I sat and watched Mark go to war literally and, and Debbie 
along with them. So um, thank you. This is this is this is a victory for families, and they have no idea how hard it is to get to a place during this pandemic of advocacy through bills and policy and legislation for them. So I just want to congratulate. And um, uh, I'm an I. And if I haven't been added, please add me to the bill. Thank you. Thank you, and absolutely. Uh, Levine. Thank you. Congratulations to Councilmember Rose on great leadership again, and I will be voting aye. Thank you, Mark. Gordenchik. Aye. Salamanca. I vote aye. Thank you. Ampri Samuel. Thank you, Council Member Rose, and thank you, Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Brennan. Congratulations to my sister from the South. I uh, appreciate your leadership here. And of course, Chair Traeger, I proudly vote aye. Thank you. Lewis. Congratulations, Chair Traeger, Council Member Rose. Keep up the great work. I vote aye. Riley. Congratulations, Council Member Rose. Uh, thank you for your leadership, Chair Traeger. Um, I vote aye, and if I haven't been added to the bill, I would love to be added also. Thank you. Absolutely. Gennaro. I vote yes. I congratulate Debbie uh, and also Chair uh, Traeger. I've already been added to the bill. Uh, it's a proud moment for me to be able to be here and to uh, support Debbie and, and to support Mark. and. Uh, I, I think I voted aye already, so that's so I voted yes twice. Sorry about that. Okay, but it's worth voting for twice. Thank you, Borelli. I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. One one moment. Okay, by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions. In proposed introduction 1675B has been adopted by the committee. Uh, Billy, we are going to, thank you for the committee members that showed up. I know Jan and I have been pestering you um, for the last 24 hours. We appreciate it. Um, we are gonna keep it open a few moments for Councilmember Kalos, but as my email said to everybody, if you are on finance, health, public safety, or the other committees voting today, this is your Zoom. Um, one Zoom through them all. So, um, you know, stay in. And um, again, thanks, everybody. We had quorum by 904, um, unprecedented in the education world. So thanks. Uh, congrats, uh, Councilmember Rose. Thank you for having everything on one Zoom. That's awesome. <laughs> Try to make it as seamless as possible. Man, not jumping around is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Where did Danny Drum go? I'm right here. Okay, I'm worried. I gotta. I know we don't start till nine thirty, but uh, no, so, I, excuse I gotta... me, folks. This is the Chief Sergeant Terrence. Just be mindful that we oh. are still actively live on the okay. stream. Okay, thank you. See you at nine thirty, Danny. Uh, Chair Traeger, this is Malcolm. one more time. You don't need to remain on while we keep this open. Um, Billy can close out the vote once Councilmember Kalos um, votes, just FYI.
Billy, Councilmember Kalos is logged on. Can you please call on him? Good morning, Councilmember Kalos, Committee on Education, proposed introduction 1675B. I vote aye. Thank you. One moment. You can call the final now. Thank you. Final vote. Committee on Education proposed introduction 1675B is adopted by the committee 17 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. 